there's two kids that you don't see, right? I, the father has alienated the children from me. Two. For no reason, just to be mean. How just old to are they? hurt me. Um, 14 and 18 now, but it's been five years. Can you imagine that? That's fucking... We're, we're, we're parents in here. That's yeah, crazy. That's it's crazy. How do, you, how do you deal with that on a uh, day-to-day oh. basis? I, I keep busy. Just keep busy. I keep working. You can't get them back. You can't talk to the dad and, and see them. He won't allow it. He won't let me. He has arranged. Uh, he he has worked it out. So if I if I phone, the right. phone just rings. It just rings. There's, right. there's no voicemail. Right. There's nothing. I don't even think the phone's plugged in. But that's interesting because normally it's the reverse. How did he get the custody of them? Yeah, what does he how, say? How does he? How did? How did this happen? Money. Oh, money, money. Okay. But what does he say? Yeah. What, yeah, what, what does he allege? What, yeah, what is his problem right. with you that he would do go down this? Yeah, road? and that the judge would fucking believe. He um, actually grew up in a family that did this to his mother. They did it to his sister, oh. and now they're doing it to me. We yeah. isolated the kids from the the mother. Yeah. What for? They, what reason? I don't know. I really don't understand. There's really no reason. It's it's they use the kids as a weapon. And and this this is not just me. Right now I think Madonna is going through something similar, but it, it's a worldwide problem that we have and our legal system does nothing about it. They Wait. actually encourage it because right. you end up paying the attorneys more money. Well, you're referencing Madonna's son who wants to live with guy over there in London, right? right? Yeah. He's just had it with his mom. Oh, yeah. yeah her touring like, schedule is a bit yeah. much. He's like a teenager, and he's like he's has decided it. that he doesn't want to be with mom, and he wants to be with dad. But I thought, I thought, like, if, to take the kids away from their mother, because what, ju- like, you know, right. they're so close that, like, there has to be, like, a reason, or, like, I didn't know guys can just do that. I didn't know fathers no. could just do yeah. There's no reason. Just do it. Just, just the judge is really, it comes down to if the judge says, okay, go with dad kind of thing. Do you get updates on the kids or anything? Yeah. Nothing. I don't know where they are. Oh, and it's been five years. Be. And those are your only years. two children? Yeah. Oh, now, did you God. must have, did you sign, and by the way, the, 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 uh, your album is called Black, right? In 95, that was a mistake I made. Saying the that, album is called Black. Sorry, that yeah. That was I, an album. I, I misread that as, as a book. That's why I was, because it said after Black was released, you had the, uh, you had to step away from music to raise your two sons. Yes. Um, I, I wanted to. I right. wanted to be a mom. I wanted to be the mother I had. Sure. And uh, I just wanted to focus on my kids and give the music industry a rest because the grunge scene had kicked in also. So it was a double-edged sword. Yeah. Did you have to sign anything? Like, for, for full custody, did you guys go through, you went through a whole legal thing, and at the end, did you, you were getting supervised visits at one point. Did you have to sign something that said, okay, I'm okay with this? Uh, I signed something, but it did not give him the right to disappear. So what he's doing is illegal. You can. You it's can, illegal. So you can't. Is there a way to sue him or get get an attorney on your end to be like he? Because he has to let you see his kids. I don't know where he is. Let you see your kids. If I could find him, there's got to be a way. To find there's got to be a way. In so contempt of court. Yeah, it, let me ask you. Because if you what, yeah. if you were doing only yeah, supervised visits, what was it that you signed that gave up full custody? Like, why did you agree to that? Abuse. Um, he was abusing the kids. And, uh, Wait, he was abusing the kids? Yeah, verbally and oh. getting them to do things that were just, I mean, I really shouldn't be talking about it, but it, it, he was getting them to do things that were hurting them. Right. And uh, mentally, they were just devastated. They were absolutely devastated. And the pain in them because of what he was doing was unbearable i i would sign i would have signed anything to get him to stop doing what he was doing so you thought by signing that he would stop abusing your kids yeah i what, thought what kind of stuff he did would he, ease up what kind of stuff did he have him do um well he would wire them for sound where is when he came when the kids came to visit me uh they would not speak they wouldn't stay in the same room as me <laughs> Um, they wouldn't pet the dogs. They it was their dogs. They right. wouldn't pet the dogs. They wouldn't. Uh, they wouldn't function in any way towards me. Yeah. Because was he trying to get the kids to get you to say something in front of them that he could use against you? Why, why was he wiring oh, them he for sound? Oh, he would use everything against anything me. Anything he could. Anything. Mm. Oh, she went over the speed limit. Okay, so 
it got it gets documented. I went over the speed limit. I'm, we're driving on the turnpike in Miami. Everybody right. goes over the speed sure. limit. Everybody. How, so do you, I, how do you know you went over the speed limit? Somebody saw said they saw the speedometer. Right. And they said, oh, it was it was ninety, and uh, so. Then he used that against me right. and said that she's crazy and she can't drive right. So, right. I mean, I've been driving the kids since they were born. Yeah. You know, why all of a sudden? Right. So someone yeah. saw that you were going 90 in the car. It was uh, Child Protective Services was sitting oh, in the passenger gotcha. seat. And she actually said, um, you're slow down. So I did. I slowed down. But then when she went back to... The courts, uh, to the attorneys, she said Lita was going over the speed limit. And the kids were crying because they had been given, uh, they had been to summer camp. And um, we were trying to separate them from the dad. So Mm. we sent them to summer camp. And um, it was good for them. They got to be with other kids. But he was sending them brainwashing books. And I found one of the books in their luggage, which I wasn't allowed to touch. But because they had given me such large suitcases of stuff that they had from summer camp, I couldn't get it in my car. So I had to take the stuff out of the suitcases, put the stuff in the trunk, and get rid of the suitcases and leave them behind because they wouldn't fit in the car. When I went to go pick How them big up. is a suitcase that, yeah. that it doesn't fit How in a small car? is a car? You're right. Yeah, that, that was my question. Fuel economy. Yeah. Could you have a smart was, car? Uh, <laughs> oh, Jesus. No, it was, it was a little I've never seen a suitcase that big. Yeah, yeah. I think you guys are missing the point. Oh, yeah. sorry, yeah. Bonnie. Well, yeah, sorry, yeah. Bonnie. Lena, was there anything like, was yeah. there anything like, because something doesn't make sense, like that, that he was able to get away with this. Like, were you partying or something at one point and then you stopped? Or like, no. No, What was it that he could not. say that would, because you're a rock star. You're not an anonymous person. He He would make up stuff. All the time, he would just make up stuff and stop me in midstream of sentence and say, uh, I mean, it just it's absolutely absurd. I could go on and on and on. about yeah, the suitcase little, thing's absurd. That's well, crazy. It That's wasn't. Crazy. It was a tub of what the kids had right. to take to summer gotcha. camp. It wasn't a suitcase. It was like a plastic container. Yeah. Sure. Where like a tub. Not yeah, like a tub the, wear, the, the big ones. Are the, yeah, I yeah. see at the container store. Yeah. Great store, the container store. Stuff you would what store. Sell <laughs> there. So I don't know why they wanted them to uh, take the kids at summer camp. I don't know, but that's Who, what they, I, did, How did you know this guy? What's going on? He, I, um, I met him it's at crazy. a uh, show in Dallas and, um, yeah. Is he a performer or is he a, a fan? Or he was just like gum stuck to the bottom of my shoe. I couldn't get rid of. Oh, it's like a stalker, weird fucking guy. Yeah. 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 So wait, he was the guy who was he was was he in the business or no? Yeah. Um. Yeah. Okay. Kinda. So you said he was gum stuck to your shoe. He pursued you. Yeah. Big but you could have just said, you know, yeah. what made you actually go with him? Yeah. 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 That was that was, and then have two kids with him. <laughs> I had lost my parents. Um. My parents died, and I had nobody. I didn't have brother, sister, mother, father. Uh, I was alone, and uh, the music industry was going into the grunge scene, so I was ready to take a break from the music sure. industry. And when I met him, I um, kind of got talked into getting married. And right. I'm loyal. I'm faithful. I'm somebody who... I'm like a dog, and I'm actually, if you look up my horoscope, I'm the sign of the dog. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I just wanted to make it work. I wanted to be there and be faithful. Be there. Was <laughs> Did you fall in love with this guy for a little while, and then in you realized the this end, was... All, the only thing they had to use against me in the end was that I went over the speed limit. Yeah. And what else? And that, and the court took your kids away. And that, for that's a hard thing to lose no. full the custody. Suitcase. No, the court did not take my kids away. Oh, sorry. He did. He did. But I don't understand how he can't do. Like uh, that's illegal. You can't do yes, that. Yes, it is. It is illegal. So, but I what? I, there's got to be a way you can get your fucking kids back. Well, she signed full custody to him. Mm-hmm. The worst. Why were the visits supervised? How did he pull that off? It's very hard to get a mother to not be able to see her kids. What yeah, happened? It's... Okay, let me explain this. And I really shouldn't be talking about it because. <sighs> It's not in the book, and um, we didn't want it in the book. Mm-hmm. Harper okay. Collins just did, did not want that story. Did they right. not want it, or were they afraid of legal action against them? Or 
They were afraid of getting Bingo. sued. I see. So we should tell the story and get the details out there. Yeah, we don't get know. Get them out. Again, because, we don't and know. this way, you don't know if your fa- if the if the the father of your kid's friend or whomever is listening. Maybe they know where where your kids are, and you can. We yeah, don't know the get, truth about it. Yeah. I mean, I know have no knowledge know, of it, yeah. but it's I I do want to know what your take on it is. Yeah. Um. Well, I, what was the question you, you asked me? I'm sorry. What kind of dog would you be if you no. could be a dog? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, you're ready to tell uh, the real story, like what really is going on here. The, it's the story too that much Har- to tell. It's just too much to tell. Don't yeah. look over there. No. Yeah. I, Don't look over panning. there. They're panicking. Is panicking. Is They're panicking? No, no, no. This, is yeah. your, this is your side of it. No, it's just I can't tell you my story. You were ready to tell it, and yeah. then too those long. two, and those, those those other two in the other rooms, it's well, too shutting long. you down. Well, the reality is, I mean, you you lived a very uh, let's be honest, you, you lived a very uh, interesting life before. Uh, that. I want to go back to the kids. That's the yeah, that's, that's the fascinating the, thing here. It's the meat and potatoes. Don't, li- don't listen to those people over there. We got to find you your kids, and I think you know, yeah, people listen to the show. Something, I mean, if anybody knows where the kids are? Where are her? Call where them. are Lita Ford's kids? I've never met Lita Ford before, but uh, something is not right here. Something doesn't make sense. So we're trying to shake it loose a little bit. It is. It absolutely makes sense. It's just. It's alienation. It's parental alienation. Yeah. But someone had it out for you. This guy, and the, it yes. seems like he can't do it alone. So he had some powerful people that were able to help him out too. It seems like. No. Yeah. No. Well, his 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 father and his how how he was raised. Right. Yeah. To do this. Does he have it. like a new wife now, a new life, and he's taking the kids? It's just him and the kids. Oh man. And you have, do you have an idea where they might be? No. Turks and Caicos. Hard to find. Uh, you hire a, a private investigator. Yeah. It makes me sad that what? she can't see her kids. Do you what? think they're in the U.S.? I don't know. You don't know. That, Gonna get into the lead of Ford thing because a lot of people are asking. Yes, that was very uncomfortable. I, I started to panic into the into that interview. Why? But, I was I'm, because I was worried about is something going to happen that we're going to get sued for. Uh, not oh that, yeah, yeah, yeah. I started to really oh. panic because yeah. her publicist freaked out so much in there. It seemed like like he was like, uh, and then when she said they wouldn't let her put it in the book, I'm like, oh no, like we're really going down a road like this. Maybe there's been legal action through. I don't know. I didn't know enough. Did you see I, what I tweeted last night? Uh, the kids the, have spoken up about this issue. Yes, in I read January. That they said the kid, one kid's eighteen. Like yeah. I didn't know that at the time. Man. I, I started panicking during that. I, it, I was like, "We're gonna get fucking sued. Something's going on that I'm unaware of." With that, that publicist freaked out so much in the, his hand motion. Oh, really? Yeah, and I could. I was watching him do do like the wrap it up thing. You probably yeah, saw they were, they were panicking in here. I know. And when she uh, said something about they wouldn't let me put it in the book, I know how that works. Lawyers vet your book. Look, yeah. I mean, I just felt bad because I'm like, this doesn't make sense, and she's making her ex look really bad, and the kids. You know, look like they're in a really tough spot. So I wish I read this article before, yeah. and, and that's my problem because this article has been out there a little while. Sure. I should have done a little research, but the kid explains the whole thing in this in this uh, article. If you go to my Twitter, Opie Radio, I think it's one of my last tweets. Yeah, he's uh, like that, eighteen that now, I think, and she said they were fourteen and sixteen or something, or twelve and fourteen, right? Well, he was eighteen when he wrote this. In twenty, was that January twenty fifteen? I think I did read that after. Yeah, I think yeah. I so he's so, probably yeah. nineteen now. Uh, you want me to read this? Yeah. My dad always taught me, this is a, this is Lita Ford's kid that she hasn't seen in about five years. I just want to get the other side yeah, out there because sure. I, I now I feel like it, it's not fair to the dude. Yeah. Because, you know, his side hasn't been explained to his whole thing. <clears throat> Excuse me. My dad always taught me, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say it. Well, unfortunately, my mother has left me no choice with her latest crazy allegations against my father, including kidnapping and recent attempts to start a nationwide Amber Alert type search for my brother and me. We have not been kidnapped. We live with our dad and have every right to. Thankfully, we never have to see our mother again. Wow. And we have the legal paperwork to prove it. By the way, I'm 18. This this is a year ago now, so this kid's now 19. I'm 18 and can live wherever I want with wh- whoever I want, and I choose to live with my dad. How ridic- ridiculous would it be for my mother to put out an Amber Alert on me, even though I'm a legal adult? I didn't know that. She didn't even really tell us that the kid was that old. I asked how old they were, and she said, uh, maybe it's, it's in there somewhere. I think she said they were 12 and 14 or she yeah, did that's not say I, one was 19 no maybe i guess i don't know I, yeah that was weird too maybe that's what she was trying to say that was the last time i saw them they were 12 oh okay and uh whatever obviously our mother has a lot of problems this is the kid talking because now you worry about this shit five years ago a court appointed doctor told my brother and me that our mother was mentally ill this came as no surprise to either of us <clears throat> unfortunately my mother <clears throat> excuse me 
uh, has never accepted any responsibility for her actions and continues to blame anyone and everyone, all while publicly playing the victim. Our mother is a child abuser. Wow. Uh, she was violent, threatening, and tried to make my brother and me hate our dad. Her attempt at parental alienation were constant and never-ending. When we didn't agree with her, she would become livid and out of control. We told child services, the sheriff's department, and many court-appointed professionals that our mother was crazy, violent, and we were afraid she would someday kill us in a fit of rage. Bro, I can relate to that. I can relate to that last paragraph a little bit, little bit. Uh, we, with our, we were with our dad when he was served divorce papers. We made him promise to do everything he could so we never had to see our mother again. He kept his promise, and for that, we are forever grateful. Our mother alleges that our father brainwashed us against her. Uh, she said that on the show yesterday. I think she did, yeah. She said she found brainwashing books. Books, yeah. You know how hard it is to get your kids to read books? Could you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine getting them to read a book on brainwashing? That, when she said that, I'm like, wow, what is going on here? Uh, where am I? How to see her? Uh, her mother alleges. Uh, is that where I am? Nothing can be further from the truth. We were with her dad. We, okay, we made him prom. Okay, he kept his promise and for that. Okay. Our mother alleges that our father brainwashed us against her. Okay, nothing could be further from the truth. Our dad never said a bad thing about her. He didn't have to. We saw firsthand what she did to all of us. If he has in any way let us down, it was that our father should have gotten us away from her sooner. Our mother said horrible things about our dad all the time. Uh, that happens a lot when when the parents yeah. go bad, though, unfortunately. I wish parents wouldn't do that, but I'm not in that situation, so I, I don't fully get it, but whatever. Uh, she even said things about me and my brother. She called us fucking faggots because we used to sit with our dad and watch movies. What kind of movies? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We, we, we would sit there and watch Chariots of Fire on a loop. <laughs> All right, I get it. <laughs> our mother threatened to have us thrown in a foster home and said we'd never see our dad again. Why? Because we told her we didn't want to be with her, and she was angry. We told all the professionals that she beat us. She also threatened us and said she would have our dad thrown in jail for the same reason. I could tell you horror stories for days, but that wouldn't accomplish anything. My mother needs serious help. She needs to stop lying, and she needs to leave us alone. She also needs to stop with her, her harassing and stalking behavior. Anyone that says my father should be crucified and left to die will never be part of my life. Who, in their right mind, writes a song for their children saying those terrible things? And then it's signed, James Gillette.